Hello, good day. This is Si Wing Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. Welcome to how to obtain unlimited loans to buy investment properties. All right, you are in for surprise. All right, so without further ado, let's get it started. All right, so um, you're gonna be really surprised. Uh, information you're gonna obtain from this presentation, uh, most like you most likely have not heard of anyone any, anywhere else before. All right, so without further ado, once again, I am not a licensed loan agent, all right? But I'm gonna, from a big picture, I'm gonna share with you how to leverage lending, how to leverage mortgages to maximize and leverage your real estate investment portfolio acquisition over time, all right? Something. Okay, so I believe this is a, I believe you can, hopefully you can receive a lot of value for this presentation. So without further ado, here it is. So per Fannie Mae lending guidelines, uh, the maximum is 10 loans per investor borrower. Okay, that is the metrics. All right, let's go over the uh, <clears throat> all the information here. Low inventory, number one, low inventory plus low interest rates plus rising demands equal red hot realistic market. All right, games. All right, number two, historical mortgage interest rates for real estate investors are in the low 3% for single family homes and as high as maybe 4% for two to four units. Anything above four units does not fall under the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, lending guidelines so is your is a is a completely different atmosphere you you're talking anything above five units you're talking commercial commercial lending which uh is a is a different topic for another discussion some other time suffice to say is not attractive all right it's not the best situation for those investors when you venture into the five unit commercial lending world, right? For many reasons. All right, so uh, let's go on. Number three, uh, number three, oh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot to uh, enlarge my PowerPoint, so sorry. All right, number three, if borrower, if, if a borrower is maxed out at 10 Fannie Mae loans, they may, they, as I mentioned before, uh, you have to go to commercial, five units or more, or portfolio loans, which uh, uh, or not is really, is, they are private loans, they are hard money loans. Again, the, the rates and the terms are not, attractive is you know it's just okay that's that's all i have to say for right now so this may result in stricter qualification standards such as higher down payment if you're going to if you max out on your 10 fannie mae loans per borrower then if you wish to buy more properties and if you wish to use loans to do it you cannot use Fannie Mae favorable lending guidelines anymore. You have to go, you are forced into going into commercial five units or higher, which is again, uh, personally, I do not play that game. Well, I don't want to play that game. I have some alternative uh, information I wanna share with you to uh, avoid playing the commercial game uh, with the five unit plus uh, situation, but that's later in this presentation. So just bear with me. So if you were to go to five units, as, a, as I mentioned here, uh, you may require perhaps 30% down payment, 
like I said, a higher interest rate, you know, five, six, seven percent. It's not a 30-year amortized loan. And, you know, again, commercial lending are not on or not part of this historical low interest rate scenario that we've been hearing about all the last, you know, year or so. So uh so I have some good ideas for you, so just hold tight. All right. Fact or fiction? The <clears throat> once a borrower, oh, by the way, when I say you know anyone qualified to get investment loan these days, you you know you really have to have a very good financial profile. You have to have decent income on your federal tax returns. You have to show at least two years or more of documented income, preferably W two income, right? Uh, and not self-employed, uh, preferably. So, and also you gotta have a, you should have a high FICO score, credit score is like 740, 780 or higher. Then you will perhaps get the most uh, favorable in a historical low interest rate. Having said that, once again, I'm not a loan agent. So every individual borrower based on their overall qualification profile Will, will be assigned a whatever interest rate interest rate you're assigning. Okay, everybody's situation is different. So some of you get who knows. Uh, you know the own occupied own occupied loans, which is usually the best interest rate. You know you these days you're getting uh, a lower than three percent rate, right? Uh, however, for investment purposes, investment loans are usually higher interest rate because of the, it's a higher risk product if you will. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So, so let's get back to this uh, presentation here. This uh, few comments here. Now, once you, once a borrower maxed out on their 10 loans, investment loans, uh, I'm talking Fannie Mae lending, then as you can see down here, the other spouse, if you're married, if your spouse also have a good job, have a good credit score, have the down payment uh, documentation and all that. If he or she qualify, once you max out, once one spouse max out on your 10, the other spouse, again, if the other spouse qualify for the reasons I just stated, if you are very ambitious, if you wanna buy more than 10 properties with mortgages, the, uh, the ideal situation, is for the uh, the other spouse to qualify to buy the next ten properties using the Fannie Mae lending guidelines, right? With lowest interest rate and what have you. So now, for those of you who are single, or for those of you that are your spouse does not work uh, because for whatever reasons, then uh, you can only do ten, right? And you kind of maxed out, so. All right, so having said that, uh, so <laughs> it's, it's so funny, right? When I sometimes, you know, I'm very curious as well, just, just like you guys, I watch other, you know, uh, uh, videos about other people, other real estate investors, how they do things. And, and you know, there are many other, right, uh, real estate, uh, presentations that you see in YouTube. And, and from time to time, I watch other people's, other organizations, other so-called real estate gurus, and they interview their investors. Uh, in this one case, and it happens a lot, right? I'm just giving me just one example. Let's say, you know, this, they, uh, this, uh, a real estate guru, whatever organization they represent, they are interviewing this like sort of a newbie investor that for whatever, extreme motivation that they have uh you know for maybe like a year ago two years ago this newbie investor that they are mentoring are able to buy uh, six or seven properties in different markets uh using family lending guidelines or whatever and they're very happy they, they they overcome all kinds of fear to uh you know to buy six seven eight properties in different markets in the u.s uh, most of them are in the midwest and some of the are in South and Southeast, which is good. So far, so good. Cash flow, property, and, and what have you. So, so during the interview, I see on the video, you know, the uh, uh, the buyer, 
uh, the investor are very happy, you know, very, very blessed that they're able to, uh, to do so much within such a short period uh, of time. And the gurus that they are mentoring these investors are just are really uh, are very happy and congratulate this investor for doing so much. Then the next question I see is like, uh, uh, you know, so uh, Mr. Investor, uh, what uh, what's your next step now that you are you know you are moving into the ninth and tenth property area, and you no longer able to get a, a Fannie Mae loan beyond the ten maximum mortgage as I alluded to earlier. Then this uh, on this in, on this video interview, then this uh, investor said, uh, uh, you know I mean just and and, and she's like have no answer she she was asked a question this mentor this coach this guru asked her what she gonna do now that she have 10 properties she, she used up all her 10 mortgages and then she said well i i don't want to go the commercial route the five unit or above i don't have the money or oh, she didn't say that but i suspect i mean her face looks very confused because I, I sense that she does not want to go through the commercial route, the five unit commercial, right? And which is, you know, a, it's a different ball game. The interest rate could be high, the down payment is higher, et cetera, et cetera. And that this recent guru himself had no solutions for her. He said, oh, okay, why don't you like uh, use your cash to buy your 11th property or go commercial or go hard money loan that is the all the answers this was guru have i mean then he, this was guru is gonna say oh just wait sit on your cash save some money for the next couple of years and then use cash if you do, don't want to do commercial so this you know the this video when i sense this investor's face her face she's like oh the way her facial expression and her voice tone kind of tells me that, oh, I wish my mentor can tell me some solutions of how to buy more than 10 property with loans other than going through commercial. So I kind of sense this guru, and this guru is a reflection, this mentor guru, right? Uh, that's coaching her or, you know, to buy this 10 properties with the 10 Fannie Mae loans. Uh, I mean, he's kind of, he's, he doesn't know, right? I mean, other than getting commercial, which appears that she doesn't want to do it, right? And I don't blame her. So this example is kind of indicative of what's going on in the real world. When, so whatever organization you go through, uh, you, know, there, you know, I'm not going to mention specific companies, right? If you do some Google search, YouTube, uh, YouTube video search, you know, there, are, there are many organizations do what we do right here at the years and network and uh so then i said you know when i watched this video this investor is stuck i mean she her facial tone is very confused she don't know what to do she's looking for some advice from this guru that is interviewing her on this youtube video <laughs> zoom meeting it's just it's just mind-boggling so so what i'm getting at okay i don't wanna okay uh I don't want to spare the suspense. I have a solution, by the way. <laughs> and I don't think many gurus out there can say that, can say what I just said. I say it again. I have a solution where you can go beyond the 10 mortgages, Fannie Mae strict lending guideline per borrower and not needing to go through commercial loan, which is very, very unfavorable and for the reasons I just stated, right? So, okay, I know, I mean, some of you guys are thinking, oh, 10 properties is more than enough to achieve retirement. Oh, that's the limit I can do. Some of you are lucky. Some of the investors all listen to my presentation. Uh, many of you doesn't not even have any rental property. No, and you have done all kind of education, whatever, right? And some of you have bought two or three rental properties. 
and for behavioral reasons or risk reasons or emotional reasons or money reasons, you cannot do any more. You're maxed out. You're done way before you're able to reach the maximum 10 mortgage loan limit, right? So on the one hand, I applaud this investor, this so-called newbie investor, two or three, uh, one or two years ago, she, she started from zero to now she have reached 10 properties with 10 Fannie Mae lending mortgage loans. So I applaud her to reach the, this level so far. If she, do, if she does nothing else again, she's, you know, if she do things right, she sit on this portfolio of 10 properties. Who knows, right? She may be to retire in 10, 20 years, you know, depending on, you know, what's her definition of retirement. Uh, using the passive income for her 10 properties. So, uh, so you know, uh, if some of you are really ambitious and really courageous and have the money and have the focus to buy more than 10 properties, uh, you wanna you wanna explore opportunities to get more than 10 mortgages to continue to buy your 11th, 12th, and 13th mortg mortgages to continue to buy properties in different market using property management, using turnkey. It's doable, right? I mean, you don't have to be a full-time investor to do this, even owning 10, 20, 30 properties, right? Uh, uh, throughout the uh, various part of the country. You can become, continue to become a, a uh, absentee uh, landlord. You can continue to become a passive investor with very little uh, time out of your day to uh, continue to maintain your vast listed portfolio. Hopefully, you know, your portfolio consists of uh, single family homes, should be no, lo no larger than a four plaque. Single family homes, so that is my, right, my investment methodology from the beginning. You buy one to four units under Fannie Mae Lending Guideline. That is your starting point. That's the foundation. That's the fundamentals of successful investing. That is the best asset class. The best asset class in investing is single family home rentals, duplex, triplex, and fourplex, and that's it, all right? So again, I mean, other, you know, real estate organization may have a different philosophy. They might want to go with what, multi-units, uh, you know, they want to go to a store, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, all the, you know, real investing, real estate investing is such a big gamut. Some do apartments, some, some gurus uh, promote apartment investing, syndications, uh, real estate investment shares, uh, I mean, uh, partnering, flipping, uh, through the BRRRR strategy, BRRRR strategy. I mean, there's so many different ways to invest in real estate. Uh, but to me, uh, from the beginning, I started this in 2005. Uh, my core investment methodology is mainly do single family homes, okay, uh, rentals. And then, you know, do some duplex and triplex and fourplex if you have additional financial resources to do all that, right? So, okay, getting back. Okay, let me, let me focus on my on this presentation. So, how do you overcome? Okay, the, the $1 million question is, what is the next step? If that real estate guru and many, many other real estate gurus and mentors or unable to find a solution other than commercial five units or more after 10 mortgages, what's the best solution? Well, I'm one of the few, if only person in the US or anywhere else for that matter, that have a much better solution beyond the 10 max mortgages. And the answer is the drum roll, please. <laughs> and the answer is, as you can see down here, <clears throat> uh, the answer is buy, government veteran administration foreclosures using quote end quote vendi loans okay so the highlights again I, I believe i'm the only real estate expert that understand government foreclosures government veteran administration foreclosures i'm not gonna give you too much detail it'll take me another two hour topic or presentation to give it a the pros and cons, the details of the government via foreclosures, but uh, you have to talk to me about it. Some of you already uh, saw my uh, that presentation on a government presentation, uh, uh, and, and some of you have not. So if you have not heard about the government via foreclosures in that scenario, please reach out 
and talk to me. All right. So, so to go beyond 10 mortgages, when you max out your Fannie Mae lending guideline, you can do, you can buy VA foreclosure properties using a brand new lending methodology that you have never heard before, which is Vendi loans, Vendi, V-E-N-D-E-E -E -E loans, as you can see down here. So the highlight of the, uh, to buying government VA foreclosures, veterans administration foreclosure, people, military, uh, in case you do not know, let me repeat myself. I was at US Army active duty for 20 years and I retired almost 20 years ago. I retired fully with a full military pension. During my days, I used the VA loan because I'm an ex-military veteran. I can use 0% down to buy a owner occupied property. 0% down using a VA loan, veteran administration loan. Now, you do not need to be a military veteran. You can qualify to buy a government VA foreclosures using Vendi loans, a very unique, amazing uh, strategy. So as a real estate investor, all you need is two years of property ownership experience to qualify, to get the Vendi loans. And of course you need to have you know, qualify for any kind of loans. So you do not need to max out your 10 mortgage Fannie Mae guideline in order to buy government for, uh, VA foreclosures, right? So really there are two categories of people that should buy VA foreclosures. The people who are maxed out on this 10 mortgage Fannie Mae lending guidelines or people who have not maxed out, who have at least one rental property and who have at least two years of rental property ownership, you also qualify to buy U.S. government via foreclosures in good markets with only, as you can see down here at the bottom, 5% down payment, okay? So you do not need to be a, a military veteran to, to buy these kind of properties, foreclosures, via foreclosures, using the Vendi loans, which is only 5% down, no PMI. All right, so, uh, so with the Vendi loans, any investors can qualify, as I mentioned, to buy these foreclosure properties with two years of experience on your tax return. And the Vendi loan rate are currently at least at 3%, which is amazing, amazing, amazing. Which is lower than the Fannie Mae investment loans that are highly, they are higher than 3%, so slightly higher. All right, so we know that. And then you can obtain, listen to this, uh, uh, category D at the bottom, you can obtain, wow, this is mind boggling, right? Okay, I, I'm hoping I'm still capturing your attention. I know some people's attention span are rather limited. That's human nature. So uh, under D, you can obtain unlimited Vendi loans to buy VA foreclosures only, as long as you have the down payment money and assuming you know, the properties you buy, the foreclosure property you buy, continue to cash flow, all right? Unlimited Vendi loans, no limitation. You can buy as many government via foreclosure properties as you can afford at 5% down as a regular investor. Does not, you do not need to be a military veteran as long as you qualify to get a loan, as long as you have at least two years of consecutive investor property ownership experience. All right, to recap. So what did you just learn? What is the takeaway for, uh, for you out there? You just learned a quote, US military top secret program, otherwise known as Vendi financing. This is a unique opportunity that our members, the Yielson members, uh, in which uh, is the industry leader in this offering product. Okay. 
So that's pretty much it. And yeah, so the takeaway in the recap is whether you have reached the 10 property max with the Fannie Mae lending guideline, if you want to buy more than 10 properties moving forward, especially single family home rentals, right? And for other people who have not maxed the 10 mortgage loan, you can qualify to buy US, I mean, uh, government veterans administration foreclosures. And these kind of properties are very desirable as long as you know where to buy, who to buy it from, what market, what neighborhood, all those kind of things. Of course, being an ex-military veteran that I am, I have experienced buying foreclosure, VA foreclosures. I have done it myself several times in my lifetime and the, uh, the tidal wave of government foreclosure is coming down the pipe in 2021, either first or second quarter. So, uh, you know what's so funny? If you were to Google government via foreclosures, if you can Google, uh, regular Google, or you can Google YouTube videos, YouTube videos, you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna, it's just no one knows about it really. All the so-called other real estate organizations out there, and there are many, as you know, right? There are the real estate gurus, real estate mentors, all the so-called experts, real estate investing experts out there. They have no clue about government via foreclosures. But so, but I do, all right? So enough said, all right, that's enough. I spend more than enough time uh, on this uh, presentation. So I look forward to talking to you. You know how to reach me, so. Thank you so much for listening. This is Si Wen Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. Hope you receive a lot of value from this short presentation and I look forward to helping you to achieve your real estate goal. All right, so with that in mind, I'm signing out. Have a nice day. Goodbye.